good? Yes. I'm just going to take you through the steps I did. This is um, a layout I did for www.kwebs.org. Um, it's quite simple, really, all you have to do. Your background, it should be uh, just a very plain back black color right now. Um, you see? Um, without that, it looks absolutely completely shit. So you can just, to make this black background, you just fill up with a very, very dark gray color. I'll just choose one here right now for you. Um, I'd say 1E1E1E, and again 1E1E1E. So just go to File, New, after you've filled the background layer with 1E1E1E. Um, create a 4x4 image and make the background transparent. That's very important, okay? Um, so, just wait for this to open. Um, now, all you really have to do now is zoom in, which takes a fucking long time. Zoom, 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 zoom. And there you go, just select your pencil tool, make it one pixel, and draw a black stripe across here. Now if you can't see this, just type um, the short and sign, I forget what it's called, and FMT equals 18. And that should be able to see this in high def. Um, now, all you have to do is select all, select the marquee tool, that's the big square one just below the arrow at the very top of the toolbar. Select everything, go to edit, and define pattern, call it whatever you want, but I've already done it, so... I don't care. Now, just I'll uh, make all these layers invisible right now and do this layer by layer. Um, shit, that's a lot of layers to get through in 10 minutes. And um, that's pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I didn't fucking tell you to come back again. And all the buttons. Oh, that's great. Look at all these fucking buttons. Uh, right, just um, create a new layer, call it stripes, just above your background, and fill it with that pattern you made earlier. If you don't know how to do this, go to the bucket tool, and if it's not there, select the gradient tool, right click on the icon, and choose the bucket. Now go to fill with pattern, and select your pattern. Now if you don't know how to fill it with pattern, it'll say up the very top, um, just underneath image, um, it'll say foreground. Just go down, select pattern, and then right to the right in a little grayed out box, it should have been just select your new thing and fill it up and the thing I've got here is normal and 5% opacity and that creates this little nice lines but only these lines were white I think yeah. um, right okay now just my third layer it's the actual big box for the actual site to contain the content in so just create a reasonably sized box with the rectangular marquee tool it's in your shapes thing if you right click you should be able to select it the rounded rectangle tool that's it um, my I did I remember is just measuring it pixel by pixel using the navigator just go to info and then you'll see the X and Y pixels and it's probably too complicated for you to understand so just draw a big one that doesn't take up too much space double click on just right beside layer 1 on it because that will just ask you to change the title and blending options will come up. Just pause it at each one of these because I don't really have the time to show you. Just pause it here and it's normal 100% opacity, black color, um, angle 90%, no, nah, ah, fuck, 90 degrees, not negative, and untick use global light. Dense, the distance is 0 pixels, spread is 0% and size is 5 pixels. Now to go to inner shadow. It's a uh, white color, it's at normal, it's got that uh, 7% opacity. The angle is 90 degrees. Diselect, use global light again, otherwise every shadow will be at the same angle unless you've got it ticked on their property box. Um, distance 1, choke 0, size 0, and you never barely ever do anything down there. This still create a nice looking dark grey box, and I'll just select which color that is for you now. Um, 
that box, it would be 2A, 2A, 2A. I'll put that in the description for you as well. Okay, just scroll up to the new layer. I'm, I'm probably going to have to pause this soon to stop it going over 10 minutes to stop YouTube's thing and go to the content box. This is yet another smaller box and it's just plain white although with a few drop shadows but it's barely noticeable. If you want to leave it just plain white feel free to do so. It will save your time and mine so just skip ahead like 30 seconds. Just pause it here for you so those of you who want to do this. Um, here you go. Drop shadow. Just pause it and copy in the values. Color overlay just this color is this here, just pause it here as well, it's F0, 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 right here, and a stroke which is one pixel, it's outside of it, and the color is, feel free to pause it now, E1, E1, E1. Fill type color, blend mode normal, blah blah blah, position outside and opacity 100%. Press OK, that should be you with a decently nice looking box and a content box. Now that for your very top bar, well this here, I did this custom because, well, I felt like it. So just create a, a normal rounded rectangle, um, split it in half using the marquee tool up here. You probably can't see it, but it's just the one below the arrow, and then cut the bottom half off it and do the following properties. Pause it, ease one, and just tell me in the comments if I'm going too fast here for you. I'll probably end up doing another voiceover again. Um, now go to just pause it here for drop shadow, pause it here for inner shadow, pause it here for outer glow, pause it here for inner glow, and pause it here for gradient overlay. Now these colors I I don't these vary from person to person. It's going from a dark aquatic blue to a very light um sunny blue if you even know what that means. Just Google sunny blue and you'll probably see it. Or alternatively you could print the screen and then use the color selector tool but that's a little bit inconvenient. Now just go to duplicate this here top bar there and then um, just go to edit sorry about this you probably can't see the whole of the window and go to rotate 180 degrees then just move it down and this here will come up here sorry about you not being able to see the tools but nothing I can do about that because of this crappy recorder um, now, uh, I just did the site copyright down here. You can just put in your own site, this here layouts entirely for you to use since you've created it by yourself. Um, these are just separators and text that I've done up here for the site navigation. This is just minor site navigation, so it won't be the actual main point. Now, these here two layers, if I remember right, are to make the top bar look glossy. All I did was go to the rectangle fill tool, right, um, get white is your main color, just drag it over here, fill it with white, and then make it, wait here, put the layer to normal and a PSA 16, that will give it a glossy look, but first you have to CTRL click on the top bar layer, and then press CTRL, shift, and I, that will inverse it, press delete, and then just cut off a little bit of the bottom with your rectangle tool. If you haven't noticed, the rectangle tools are very useful in this. Um, now, I, I just did the exact same as I did with the top bar here. I just went to uh, edit, transform, 180. I put it, I didn't put it exactly in the bottom because that would look kind of, well, plain. And here we go, this is, what is this one? Oh, this is just the glows for the buttons. Just get a, a reasonably good blue color to suit the layout and a brush of a reasonably good softness and size and just spray away at your buttons. I pr should probably show you the buttons first and here's button one that's just home. I'll tell you which font this is I've used on them. It's, and if you don't know how to do these just get a rounded rectangle tool and do these layer styles after you've cut the top off it to align with the very top of this. Now this goes drop shadow just